Hi, welcome to Webion Systems. I am Abhishek Patel, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to automate the simple user actions using Playwright and Java. So this is the continuation of my previous video where we have seen how to launch the uh, Chromium browser or the Chrome browser using the Playwright and Java. Okay, so before I start, uh, if you need to hire a software tester for your project, then write me at apatel at webionsystems.com. Okay? All right, let's get back to the video. So in the previous video, we have seen how to launch the Chrome browser. And in this video, we'll just automate simple user action like filling a form. Okay? So public word fill form. And do not forget to provide the test tag, okay? So here we are navigating to this seleniumeasy.com test, okay? So I have noticed that whenever I navigate to this URL, especially in the incognito mode, so during that time I am seeing this pop-up. So I want to handle this pop-up. So first step I'm going to do is that if this pop-ups appear, I'm going to click on it. Okay. So the X path for this pop-up is contains added title close. Okay. It's unique. And this is the X path for this element, for this element of this object. Okay, go back to our Eclipse and we have this click method, okay? We have the click method of Playwright and inside the click method, it takes the parameter selector of type string, okay? okay. It could be the any type of the parameter. That means it could be the X path, it could be the CSS selector, ID, whatever, okay? So it's, I'm telling page dot click and click on this selector, which is the X path. Now, this is the beauty of the playwright. The beauty is you do not have to explicitly mention the weight, okay? You do not have to define the explicit weight here or implicit weight here. Playwright has a default weight of 30 seconds, okay? So it will wait for 30 seconds before clicking any element that means not it won't wait explicitly it will click as soon as the element appears on the screen okay so it will uh, check that element is on a screen it is enabled it is not moving it is attached and few more things we'll we'll cover this in the uh, further videos okay so yeah it clicks on it okay it clicks on it and now let me go back okay once it clicks on it i want to click on start practicing i'm using this selector hub that's the extension i'm using to extract the x path okay page dot click and provide the x path for start practicing button and go back to our application so when i click on start practicing you have you notice that it navigated to this page okay and in the eclipse i won't uh, specify to wait for that object to appear on screen playwright is smart enough and it will wait for that object to appear on our screen okay Okay, once it is clicking on it. Okay, and here we want to enter the message. Okay, so this is the input field uh, and the X path for this input field. Now, Playwright has fill method. And here you notice that there are two methods, overloaded method. One is uh, string selector and string value. Okay, then we have 
string selector, string value and fill options. Okay. So for this video, for this video, I'm going to use string selector and string value. So the selector is this and the value that I want to provide is testing by Abhishek. Okay. And once I provide it, I want to click on the show message button. Page dot click. And here you see, here also we have overloaded methods. So I'm going to use this string selector. And this is the selector I'm going to use. Okay. So what it is doing is, uh, first it's going to please, uh, uh, click on the close button of that model. Then it's going to click on start practicing, then going to click on simple form demo, uh, extract the locator by this X path and then passing testing by a basic value and click on show message. Okay. And finally, Let's wait for some seconds. Like maybe three seconds. Okay, now let me run this. Open the browser, okay, testing by Abhishek and it also clicked and here it was pretty fast and it did run. Okay, so uh, yeah, this was the simple automation of the user action like filling up the form. Here we have a small utility, we have a method here, set uh, slow mo, yeah, slow motion and thousand. We can use this method to run it in a slow motion, to run our script in a slow motion. Okay, now it's easy for you to see, right? Okay, yep. Okay, so here, the great thing about this uh, script is that we haven't mentioned the explicit or implicit weight. So this is excellent for the single page application like Angular and React, right? So in the next video, I will further explain the what's going on under the hood in terms of weight, right? How to provide the explicit weight and uh, also how we can uh, change the global weight in your test project, okay? So that's it in this video. I hope you learned something new. Uh, and as I said earlier, if you need a software tester for your project, then write me at apatel at webionsystems.com. See you in the next video. Bye.